Hello, my divine kings and queens. I'm back to do another video. And today's message, God is saying, people played themselves trying to play you. They lost the real one trying to play you. They ain't gonna never find another person like you and have very well lost an opportunity and lost you forever in trying to play you. There's a lot of people who came into your life who did not mean you well. There's people who came into your life who had ill intent. There's a lot of people who came in and trying to deceive you because they perceived you to be an easy target. But God say, easy come, easy go. No matter how these people attain whatever it is that they attain in their life, it does not mean that they're going to keep it. And no matter how long that it is that it stays in their life, it doesn't mean that it's going to stay that way forever. Because a lot of people built what they built off the backs of, like I said, and you being loyal off the backs of your hard work. And deceiving you and manipulating you and throwing you under the bus and dragging your name through the mud and, and, and betraying you and stabbing you in the back and being malicious towards you, telling lies on you. So they built it on a faulty foundation. And because of that, God says it's not going to stand the test of time. But as it comes and as it pertains and regarding you, I say, listen, they play too many games for far too long. A lot of people had ample opportunity to do right by you. They had ample opportunity to right their wrongs. To, to at the end of the day, rectify certain situations that they placed you in. Placed you in third party situations. Sat up here and was taken from you and given to other people. They were sitting up here and thinking that you would just take anything that they dished out to you forever. And let me tell you something as a, as a learning, as a learning moment. This is not me because this is a judge-free zone. We've all been there and down that road where we did not love ourselves or thought highly of ourselves that we were worthy of something better. So we stayed in whatever situations presented itself to us. We stayed in what we was familiar with. We stayed in what we thought we were deserving of. We thought we was deserving at one point in time of that mistreatment. We thought we was deserving of, of, of the scraps that was given to us, the breadcrumbs that was given to us. We thought we was deserving of these things. We did not think that we was deserving of better, but it wasn't until we said enough is enough. And then divine intervention took place, took place. And God said, listen, I know in this moment you may feel like you're losing out on a great deal. I know you may feel like you're losing out on the love of your life. But trust me when I say that this person is not even going to be a thought in your mind when I bring who I have in store for you. Come on now. When God brings a person in your life. You're going to be able to line the actions up with the fruit of the spirit, baby. You ain't going to be able to, you're not going to be going through the same situations that you went through with these other people of whom you encountered that you had to learn lessons from because it was only in your, in your life for a season and for a reason. Hold on. They was only meant to be in your life for a certain period of time so that you can learn certain lessons. There are certain people of whom you had to encounter, be it in your friend group, be it with these lovers, be it with certain situations, work situations, business situations, whatever it is that you was placed in. Let me tell you something. God was setting you up for something better. God was setting you up for something bigger. And you had to go through these situations to learn certain situ to learn certain lessons so that once he got you to where it is that he wanted you to be. You wouldn't so freely allow people to come in and misguide you and misuse you and misrepresent you. And mishandle you and mistreat you. Because now you know that you are destined for greatness. You know that you are worthy of something better, of something greater. And there's a lot of people who played themselves and trying to play you. Friends who played themselves trying to play you. Trying to come up on you. Trying to ride your coattail. Trying to take whatever it is that you had in your life that they perceive to be a good situation, a good thing. Had to betray you to get it. Had to throw you under the bus to get it. God said it ain't going to keep it and it ain't going to last long. Easy come, easy go. What goes around, come back around. It speak of it in the Bible. Treat others as you, as you yourself want to be treated. But see, we had to learn things in encountering these people. We had to learn things in being in these situations. 
things, like I said, they were eye openers for us. These situations and these people that we encountered and that we were in, it was eye openers for us. It opened up our eyes to see, hold on, who these people truly are behind the mask that they hide behind. There's so many people that want to play so many games till they can't play them no more because you're not going to want to deal with them no more. So checkmate. Now they prize shot. Now they hurt. You, you don't hurt their ego. Because you ain't called back. Because you ain't run back. Because you cut them off. Some of them without an explanation as to why you cut them off. You just disappeared and ghost them. Because you say, you know what? If you big and bad enough to sit up here and try to talk behind my back. You big and bad enough to play one way behind my back and play another way in front of my face. Then, baby, you don't need no explanation as to why I don't want to deal with you. You going to know and me exiting up out of your life why I don't want to deal with you no more. Because you going to go back over the things that you've done to me. You going to go back over the unjustifiable actions that you took against me. You going to go over the, over the words that you spoke against me. The jokes that you use to throw me down, to knock me down, to have other people perceive me a certain type of way. The business that you spread it in the street when I kept your secrets. The selfishness that you exhibited in the friendship, in the relationship, when I gave my resources to you freely. <clears throat> God say people played themselves in trying to play you. Now they're going to be grasping for straws, trying to put an excuse together, an explanation together as to why they did what they did, because they're going to go through something in their life. And mark my word is what I say. These people, and let me tell you something, don't take my word for it. Over to her, how you know these things. First of all, first off is speak of it in the Bible. And let me tell you something, you know, you chosen and you know, you anointed, you know, that God don't play about you. So he ain't going to let these people just skate off freely with what they did towards you and to you. He ain't just going to let them get off the hook like that. God say, easy come, easy go. Well, go around, come back around. You lose them how you get them. You lose them how you get them. And whatever it is that these people are going to go through in their life, mark my words. However they dish it out to you, just go down the list to these friends, to these families, to these situations. People out here trying to sabotage you, they're going to end up losing their job. My dad used to always give me this example of, forgive me if I, if I say it wrong. He always say this to me about the dog trying to run and, and chase the bird, right? Now, the bird has the option to run on land and also to fly. The dog, you know, is only um, limited to what they can do on land. They can, dogs can't fly. You get what I'm saying? And so the dogs, like my, my dad would always give me this example about the dog trying to chase the bird. Like, why are you trying to chase the bird? Because the bird can very well fly off a cliff. And you're going to sit up there and follow the bird off that cliff? Well, you're going to plummet to your death while that bird rise up and fly off somewhere. So the same way, like I said, that these people tried to dig graves for you, the same way that these people wanted certain outcomes for you, this is what they, they're going to go through themselves, trying to follow you. And at the end of the day, you was already blessed and anointed to reach certain levels in your life. So as God pro progress you forward and pro and propel you up in life and take you to, to new light, new heights and new levels of your life, it's almost as if, like I say, these people, your enemy is the dog or dogs. You're the bird. Your enemies and the people who went up against you is the dog. You're the bird. Keep following you. God is telling you what to do. You know what path to take and you take that path. But these people are so hell bent and trying to make you uh, experience a certain outcome in your life. So hell bent and trying to make that whatever it is that they were saying about you stick to you. So hell bent on maybe possibly trying to hold on to situations that they know that they're losing. But to save face because they know how they got it in the first place. And it wasn't built on a firm foundation. It was built on a faulty one, right? Because of their lies and their treachery and their deceitfulness. These people are going to chase themselves to their own demise. And I mean that in the most respective way. Because whatever it is that they're doing and how they're doing it, God said they didn't have to do it that way. There were so many ways that they could have gone about it. But again, it's all spiritually connected. 
to get you to where you needed to be in life. You needed to learn. You needed to hurt. You needed to feel that so that you can protect yourself better. Because there's a lot of you who wasn't protecting yourself better. You wasn't reading the red flags. But now, oh, you on guard and you on point with it. Because you don't want to go and experience that no more. But these people are going to chase themselves to their own demise. They're going to fall right off that cliff while you fly forward in life and fly high. And these people ain't going to be able to get to you. And so there's a lot of people, like I said, that's going to realize, just go down the list as to whatever it is that these people did to you. They took something from you, sabotaged, did something behind your back. Whatever it is that's about to happen in their life, they're going to get it. But God say 10 times worse than how they originally uh, dished it out to you. Because they didn't have to do it. A lot of people need to learn how to move right into moving good faith. If you don't have to take a certain action against a person, don't do it. If lying on a person is not going to benefit you in life, lying on a person is not going to pay your bills. Lying on a person is not going to help you sleep good at night. Betraying a person is not going to pay your bills. It's not going to help you sleep good at night. It's not going to benefit you in any shape or form. When people could have came correct, they chose to do wrong. And now... It's a choice that they're going to have to live with for the rest of their life. They played themselves in trying to play a real one. Well, joke's on them and you get the last laugh because you're going to fly high while they chase themselves to their own demise. There's so many people and it's so sad trying to hold on to situations right now as we speak. They know that they're not being fulfilled in it. They know they're not happy in it. But you know what? They know that they had to hurt you to get it. They know they had to betray you in order to get there. So before they give you the satisfaction of saying, well, I told you so. And, uh, you know, we'll go around, come around. They choose to suffer. And for some, God say they faded to suffer. For some, God was telling you, get out the way so I can dish to them what it is that they was doing to you. You was blocking people's karma. Again, this is a judgment free zone. I'm not I'm not chastising you. I'm not coming down on you. I'm not criticizing you. I'm just telling you facts by you being in these people's lives and God not wanting you to experience other people's karma. These people were spared. But as soon as you got up out their life. God say, now I can dish back to them what they originally dealt out to you. And now the people going to realize they played themselves in trying to play you. God was telling you, get out the way. Get out the way. Just move. Move to what it is that I have in store for you. Move towards that. Stop moving back towards these people that don't mean you no well. Stop looking for these people and what's going to happen to them. Just know that they played themselves in trying to play you and they're going to realize that. It don't matter when they realize it, how they realize it, but they're going to realize it. And at the end of the day, um, I just want you to keep moving forward in life. I don't want you to keep looking back at how these people's karma is going to play out for them because I'm telling you it's going to come back on them. And and there's no ifs, ands, buts about it because God don't play about you. He heard conversations that you did not hear. He was in certain rooms that you was not in. He heard and saw the people, the plans that people had for you, how they was laughing. They, had a, they thought it was so funny how they ran your business, was talking to other people, doing certain things for other people, being two-faced, being fake. Want they cake and they ice cream too. Want to hold on you, hold on to other situations. Thinking that you was going to be so silly, so stupid, so desperate. And you was just going to be there waiting for people. God say, no, you ain't meant to wait on nobody. You ain't meant to wait on nobody. Focus on you and focus on your healing and continue to move forward into what it, what it is that I have for you. Because you're going to get there come hell or high water. And these people going to get what's coming to them too. Because I don't play about you. Likewise, I don't want you to play about yourself. So don't play yourself in thinking that, oh, because these people won't get what it is, that now they can go back and be a real friend to you, that you can let your family back in and that you can go back to them. No, it's a lesson learned for you and them. How to love yourself better so you can see the red flags and know what it is that you're going to tolerate, what you're not going to tolerate. Cut off game on strong. And for these people to, like, for these people to realize 
that they need to move right towards people and they need to stop judging, stop trying to be um, deceitful. And they're very deceptive towards you. I'm telling you, no matter how they try to slice it or dice it, these people was fake. And it's sad because sometimes you realize you're like, well, how they go off to their happiness and I have to, you know, be alone or I have to go through certain things. Well, God wanted you to heal to prepare you for the right situation because I guarantee you, like I said, easy come, easy go for them. God said, when I bring you the word is that I want you to be and I bring into your life who I, I want you to be with and who I pair you to be with, it's going to stand the test of time. It's going to be built on a firm foundation. Ain't nobody just going to be able to come in. Temptation ain't just going to be able to come in and wave at this person and, and get this person to betray you or get this person to throw you under the bus or get this person to be two-faced and leave you. Temptation ain't going to be able to come in and do that. Lust ain't going to be able to come in and mess with this foundation. Lies ain't going to be able to come in and mess with this foundation. Fake people and phony people ain't going to be able to come in and mess with this foundation. The games that people want to play till they get played. Ain't going to be able to come in and mess with this foundation, God say. So everything had to happen in the right order on my time, not your time. That's why it happened the way that it happened. Let people think that they got away with whatever it is that they got away with. Because God say, easy come, easy go. They ain't going to be able to keep it. And it ain't going to last long. And it's going to end the way that it started. God said they played themselves and trying to play you. It ain't nothing that you need to worry about. But continue to focus on your healing and continue to move forward. Because listen, um, you got you got someone who watching you right now who adores you. Now I'm not talking about God, because you already know He first and foremost. But you got people who really idolize you. You got real people who are just waiting for a chance for you to be a part of their lives. Give the right people a chance. And leave the wrong people and these fake people and these evil people in the dust. Leave them where they belong. In the past. And until next time, I want you to stay prayed up and be blessed. And I want you to understand that if you need a friend, you got it in me. If you need love, you got it in me. Um, so until next time, stay prayed up and be blessed. We ride together. We slide together. JC Game for Life. I love y'all.